Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting episode of the Sigma Real Estate Studios. I'm your host, Jimmy O'Don, and today we're going to be talking about the age-old question. Who pays the real estate's commissions, or the realtor commissions, whatever you want to call it? And all I ask in return before we get started is that you go ahead and hit that like button. Now, let's go. Okay, so the age-old question is, who pays the real estate commission? Well, that's kind of like asking what came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> what do I mean by that? Well, technically in New York State, the seller is the one who cuts the check for the real estate commissions. And that's the simple answer. However, there's more to it than that. And to fully understand commission, let's look at it from the start. Tip of the iceberg, here we go. So starters, commission in New York State is 100% negotiable. That's right, 100% negotiable. The way it all starts is an agent meets with a seller. The agent is charging a total of, let's say, 5% to list and sell this home. Now, part of that 5% is cut out for the listing agent and part of that 5% is cut out for the buyer's agent. Some listing agents pay out half or two and a half percent to entice the buyer's agents to bring their buyers and others might only pay out 2% keeping more for themselves. In the event that the listing agent also finds the buyer, then the commission will either stay as 5% paid all to the listing agent or the listing agent may reduce the commission to give the seller a better deal since they're working both sides now. Typically, the commission savings that happen if you do not have a buyer's agent end up going to the seller in this market right now. So buying a home right now in New York without an agent is absolute insanity. It just doesn't make any sense. You're like this is being provided to you at no additional cost in, in most cases and you're opting not to take it. So I think buyers that are doing that are insane. On the surface level though, the seller is paying for both the listing agent and the buyer's agent fees, right? Well, not necessarily. And before we dig into that, let's go ahead and have a shameless plug from our sponsor. If you're looking to buy or sell a home and need expert advice, then go ahead and click that Calendly link down below to schedule a 15 minute call with myself or a member of the team. Now back to digging a little deeper on who pays the commission by looking at a real life example. So we have a subject property. It's going up for sale at $500,000. The seller agrees to 5% with a 3% payout for the listing agent and a 2% payout for the buyer's agent. There's two types of buyer's agents that you're going to encounter. The first is the buyer's agent who takes whatever the listing agent is paying out. In this situation, you as the buyer are not responsible for anything additional, no matter what the listing pays out. Now, the second type of buyer's agent is the one who works on a set percentage. These agents may even offer more services than your standard agent. So let's say your agent works for two and a half percent, right? In this situation, since the listing agent is only paying out 2%, then you would be responsible for the 0.5% of the commission, which on this subject property of half a million dollars, comes out to roughly 2,500. So make sure you understand what commission the buyer's agent you hire is working on. Typically, in most of our areas, you'll see most buyer's agents working for 2%, and luckily, 99% of the times, the listings are paying out at least 2%, so you don't have to worry about additional charges. Now, if you do come across an agent that charges a little bit more than that, it's worth it to find out what, you know, what are you getting in addition to what you get from a standard agent? Like, what are they doing to go above and beyond? And does it warrant the extra commission? If not, then you go with a standard agent and call it a day. When getting ready to hire either a listing agent or a buyer's agent, always ask what the commission percentage is going to be. If you're putting your home up for sale and you're dealing with a listing agent, then also find out what the breakdown is between what the listing agent gets paid and what the buyer's agent gets paid. Because if you have a listing agent that is greedy and paying out under 2%, there's a good chance it'll turn off buyer's agents and minimize the potential buyers that you have coming to look at your home. And the point of putting your house on the market is to get people to look at it. So make sure that your listing agent isn't being a cheapskate and paying out what they should be paying out. Now, as you can see, real estate commissions are not always black and white. The shades are gray. And they can vary not only from company to company, they can vary from agent to agent, Two agents in the same office can have two different commissions. Also keep in mind that location and price point will also play a role in commissions. So there's lots of different things, but more or less, if you're a buyer and you're working with a buyer's agent, more often than not, you're not coming out of pocket to pay for this. 
If you're a seller, more often than not, you're covering the fee of both the listing agent and the buyer's agent, but also if you want to ask them, find out, hey, if you if you bring the buyer, do I still owe you the total amount? Is there a deal that we get? Blah, blah, blah. Technically, you should have your listing agent and the buyer should have their own agent just to keep, you know, everything kosher, right? Because I don't know, man, if one agent's representing both the buyer and the seller, that's a thin line right there that they're walking. For all you ladies and gents watching out there and that's been with us since the beginning or just tuning in now, we've been uploading two videos a week, every week since September. We've touched on a ton of topics. However, I do know that there's topics out there that I haven't touched on. And if, if you're one of the people that's been thinking, oh man, I just wish Jimmy would make a video about this topic. Like, oh, when's Jimmy gonna make a video about this topic? Feel free, always drop comments. Let me know what you guys are looking to watch. Let me know what topics it is that you want more information on. We'll go ahead, we'll put them together, we'll shoot them and we'll put them up right here. And that way you're getting the information you need in a very easy format. So please let me know down below. And as usual, before you go, hit that subscribe button. Ding the bell. And I will see you here next time. I'm your host, Jimmy O'Done, and this is the Sigma Real Estate Studios.